Hey guys and welcome to Tour Review TV. On this episode I will be reviewing a complete run of all 16 of the new LEGO Series 6 minifigures. Uh, I'll be going in depth shortly on these beautiful looking little guys here and we'll be seeing exactly what they look like and favourites will be chosen. Uh, if you want to see a box break of a full box of 60 of these minifigures and also the ratio of how many are in a box I did that video and I will put the link down in the description box below so check that out guys it's quite interesting to see exactly how they are laid out and how many you get in a box but without further ado let's get up close and personal to these beautiful guys and see exactly what they look like so onto the first minifigure of series 6 and it is the classic alien he comes with the white phaser and the green well, lightsaber section that slots into the phaser he's got not got no uh, detail on the back of the torso or the head it's so it's, there's not much detail at all but it's very appealing I, I do like this design and I love the head sculpt on it and just a little bit of printing on the front section of the torso there but quite a nice quite a nice minifigure I think okay and next up is the Highland Battler he comes with a shield with a little bit of printing on the front there he comes with a grey sword and a long hairpiece there's no printing on the back but he does have printing on the legs as you can see there and on the front of the torso if I take this shield away you'll see he has the tartan Scottish tartan design and there's quite a lot of detail on the front of that figure so a very nice figure indeed and he has quite a menacing look on his face and a bit of stubble also ok next up his sleepy head in his pyjamas there just being rudely awakened and he's yawning and holding a little teddy bear nice hair piece this one all messed up because he's just fallen out of bed uh, printing on his arms there printing on his legs and that carries on through to the back of the torso and you'll see there he also has another print which shows him asleep so quite nice that he's got two expressions on his face and uh, then again on the arms and followed through to the legs and on the front there and there's got his pyjama print on the front here is the teddy bear that comes with sleepy head quite a nice little piece this one very cute just give you a little look at what he uh, of what he features great little piece though nice little add on to the minifigure and on to Lady Liberty which is obviously based on the Statue of Liberty uh, holding the flame which is a two piece which is made up of the flame and the telescope piece uh, quite a bit of detail on the front there and as we go around to the back no more detail to speak of and holding there which is the tablet uh, engraved tablet I believe which is the date of the declaration of independence holding in her hand which is a one piece tile here we have the bandit as you can see he's wearing a hat, a black hat and a mask, a handkerchief mask and he has two black pistols and the print design on his torso there is a string of bullets and he also has a little belt and also on his leg area there is a belt also so we'll give him a spin and you will see that the the line of bullets carries on and crosses on the back of his torso 
and then you'll see the handkerchief around the back so let's just take his hat off and then you'll see his head a bit more well to see his head fully this piece comes off which is the mask or handkerchief and there is his face quite an evil looking uh, expression there, a bit of stubble as well and here we have the flamenco dancer who is holding a fan a black fan and the dress is printed on the front there as you can see on the torso and the leg section or lower section as there are no legs and the print carries on around the back on the torso but not on the bottom half of the dress which is not too disappointing and she has this hair piece as well which is bunched at the back and then flicks up at the front there in an almighty Elvis quiff so very nice and a uh, little bit of lipstick around the lips there and uh, quite a cheery expression and here we have the clockwork robot which you may have heard me say already that this is my favourite minifigure from this series He's absolutely fantastic. There you see a, a square head and he has the blue eyes and the very retro looking print to the mouth and well all areas really. He's just very very spect spectacular little figure this. There's printing down by the feet on the legs on the um, waist section torso there with all the dials fantastic brightly coloured coloured orange or red hands and as we spin round to the back there is the uh, wind up piece that just fixes on by that that neck piece so very fantastic looking figure this one Ok hey guys and here we have the Minotaur which came in a quantity of 5 in a full box which was really high uh, well, I was quite surprised because this is a really nice figure but hey there you go uh, quite nice printing to his legs, waist and feet and torso I'll just take his head off which just fits on like that and he has the defined uh, abs there and pecs as well to the front of his torso and the head will just slip back on like that the horns fit on separately as well uh, but let's give him a spin anyway comes with an axe which is a two piece axe the eyes have detail and colouring uh, no more detail on the back but I do I think this is quite a nice minifigure and it shouldn't be too hard to pick one of these up as it is one of the higher count minifigures in the box and here we have the leprechaun short little legs like Yoda and he comes with his pot of gold and quite a bit of print on the front there the pot of gold comes with three little gold studs that are just stuck together and then those will slide in there loose uh, it comes with a lovely little hat as well with a, a belt around the top with a belt buckle a beard quite a cheery expression as well and with this one also no print or detail on the back it's all on the front as you can see there but still very nice ok and here we have the Roman soldier which I believe is going to be a favourite with a lot of collectors this one it comes with a lovely detailed shield there and it comes with a spear as well which is painted at the end grey uh, with a brown shaft he has printing to the front on the feet areas the leg, waist and torso areas let's just give him a spin with all his weapons in hand and you can see the printing goes all the way around on the legs there and the feet 
but then stops and doesn't carry on to the back of the legs which I've noticed on some of the new superhero Lego figures uh, I can't remember which one it was now I think it was Wonder Woman uh, there was a lot of printing on the front but it didn't carry on to the back but it's not a big deal but I think that there is room for improvement there on the print but we'll take the weapons off anyway just so you can get a good look at the actual detail on the front there I'll take his helmet off and show you his uh, serious looking expression so a very nice figure and this is my second favourite figure from the Series 6 minifigure line ok next up is Surgeon which is a really nice figure again I, I look, most of these figures from this wave they've done really really well on and she's holding a needle I've got a mask on and the uh, operating theatre cap as well no great detail to the back of the figure but it does come with this translucent blue x-ray picture which I think is a fan well really nice piece I think it's a great little piece that one square tile with the the x-ray picture on it I'll just give you another look at the front detail to the torso there and here we have Skater Girl quite a lot of detail on this one she has a hairpiece with a little bit of a pink dye to the front she has a skull on the torso there printing to the waist and a little bit of printing on the leg sections there and also on the arms and obviously she comes with the skateboard which you can see and also detail to the back as well a nice little air piece there with the ponytail and the skateboard also has some detail to it as well which I can show you now there we have the skull design and also bat wing with heart in the middle here we have intergalactic girl I'll just take the helmet off for now look at all that detail to the front there quite nice legs, torso again and feet again comes with the grey phaser with the blue lightsaber piece very nice for all you girls out there, very nice pink colour and also a very nice hairpiece as well, blonde hairpiece and there she has a quite a cheeky smirk on her face uh, but let's take the hairpiece off put that down there and we'll put the helmet on that comes with it and this is what she looks like with the helmet on Quite a stunning little figure really isn't it that one? Let's give you a quick spin with the helmet on. And here is a butcher. Again got the print on the front and the legs which is his apron and he's got a little bow tie on. Comes with his chopping utensil there for chopping all the meat up and he also comes with a one piece meat section as well which is a nice little piece could be used in uh, dioramas etc for food pieces on a table or in a kitchen area so that's a nice handy little piece to have and he also comes with uh, quite a cheery face and some lovely sideburns <laughs> and here we have the mechanic he's got a uh, happy expression on his face loads of grease splashes but he's happy so that's okay with me a uh, bit of print on the front there on his uh, mechanic overalls bit of uh, grease splash as well to the front comes with a wrench quite a slick looking hair piece as well and a toolbox which is one piece also he's got a very 
funky 60s to 70s style hair, haircut. And last but not least, guys, is the Genie, which is my third favourite figure from Series 6. Really nice figure, this one. Um, quite a bit of print there to the torso. It comes with the hat and this little jewel piece which slots into the hat. There you can see the, uh, the full expression of him, which is a very happy expression. And he comes with the, the lamp, as you can see there. And not much to speak of around the back. Not as much detail as a lot of the other figures, but I do think he's very nice. Okay guys, so that's it from me and my awesome Series 6 minifigure friends at the front there. Please let me know which one is your favourite in the description box below. Uh, that would be nice to know. And please rate, comment and subscribe, which would also be fantastic. But until next time guys, happy collecting and take care.